We go now to East Palestine, where Texas A&M researchers behind the report that says air pollutants from the derailment could pose serious long-term risks are speaking out tonight. This as President Biden ordered the EPA to do door-to-door -door inspections in that city and as EPA cleanup comes to a halt. Marissa Sines has details on what we are learning tonight. The wreckage in East Palestine is still a hot spot for questions and rebuilding. Now more than three weeks since that toxic derailment. And while residents still raise concerns about toxins in the soil and the water, chemicals too are fuming in places we can't see, the air. The Texas A&M Superfund Research Center, in collaboration with Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh, decided to do their own sampling. We noticed that there wasn't a lot of contextualization of the actual numbers that EPA had been releasing. Wei Shui Chu, deputy director of the research center, says it's the long-term effects that could be serious. We took those air, me air, air measurements and compared them to what EPA considers to be a safe level for um, lifetime exposure. And we found that, particularly for uh, acrolein, that some of the measurements were above what was would be considered safe if it were to continue uh, into, uh, you know, long term into the future. Chu says acrolein, a hazardous material found in smoke, affects the respiratory tracts and nasal passages. The EPA echoing today air pollution levels remain low risk and that air quality remains, quote, normal. Cleanup will continue tomorrow with two new locations on the list for material intake in Grafton, Ohio and Rochdale, Indiana. Chu says what's critical to prevention today is proper cleanup and testing. So if there's a, you know, some soil or some water that was contaminated, then uh, then that could be a source of continuing emission into the air. Vickery and East Liverpool are also intake locations. They started accepting shipments earlier this morning. Now, one more note, we did reach out for an updated response from the governor regarding this report, but have not yet heard back. Laura. And of course, we hope to hear back from him very soon. Marissa, thank you.